Hi there and welcome to KMC Gaming and this is my let's build and I'm using the replay mod. I'm not too good with it yet so I'm doing my own angles. I'm not using the camera angles with the keyframes etc. I'm just doing it in spectator mode. But I am going to show you what I do. Now I've got this stone and brick project I want to do. So I'm going to be able to use this uh, replay at high speed and be able to show you um, speed lapses, <coughs> speed builds of me um, putting this all together. Uh, a couple of things I need to explain about these uh, uh, other builds that are further in, uh, which hopefully I'll be able to salvage the idea of being able to show you. If not, we'll just do a visitation of it later on. Uh, not in this video, in another video. But uh, let's uh, move on a little, because it's taken a while. Right, so uh, cracking on. And we're still going on and on. <laughs> and it's uh, taken so long that it's now morning time. I um, don't know how to work out the sun and moon thing and everything else. Turn the night and day on the mod. For some reason, it's got no options. But there is options to make it light, which I use that in some points. So we're doing the path. Um... And now I'm going to be building the first uh, house I want to put in quite quickly as well. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to use um, hay material for the floor. I'm going to make it a little bit fancy. Just uh, I'm not going to show you the build really, just showing you how it goes. Doing the stairs right now, uh, nice and speedily. Uh, I'm going to put in some fencing as well. Uh, just to give it the, um, the look <coughs> decoration. Got the frame in, and the next thing I'm going to be doing is the roof. So uh, now, it's just a case of building up. <coughs> Pardon me. Just a case of building up um, layers, and on this house, this one's going to be quite simple. Um, I'm not even going to finish the whole thing. Obviously, I'm going to put the basics down, but I'm not going to do the inside and uh, stuff like that. I'm just going to uh, do the outside detail, basically. some of the grey trim. <clears throat> now that's done. I'm going to put in a little balcony area, I think. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to build it in. Uh, and all of this for leaves, etc. I'll be doing that in a minute. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me, I've still got a soft throat. Right, that took a while to think there. But there we go. The basics. Just putting in some walls. Um, <clears throat> just touching it up here and there. I will be doing more with this building. Um, but right now I'm just putting in some uh, wood and extra decoration. Now on the roof, I am just doing the basics. Nothing too much to break it up. And a sort of a little uh, oriental theme going on there. <laughs> We go. There we go now. Right, so get some leaves on, <clears throat> get some of the decoration done, and then I'm going to start with the uh, outside. It's daytime. Right, so I'm doing the uh, cosmetics as I go. I wish I'd shown you that big tree, but it's already up, so I guess I don't have it recorded. Uh, a little bit of bone meal. Uh, we're putting a wee tree here, I reckon. Um, I'm using the trees to break up the areas, kind of like with the pathways. Uh, really get the trim going here. I like them quite sporadic. So now I'm just going to finish it off with some uh, vines and extra leaves and that, just to make it look wonky, because the whole idea of this project as well, 
it's the buildings are uh, quite wonky, the trees are wonky, the paths are wonky, you know. It gives an aspect and a ratio to it, it looks, it looks good. But yeah, so we'll finish this little bummy here and we'll start on the next wee section, I think. Alright, so we'll put in another tree here and I will do another bigger tree, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'll put in another bigger tree further up. But now it's just basically putting the scene together, really. Um, for in between buildings and stuff like that, if you get my meaning. That makes up a great scene, so we'll get this tree going. This one's going to be a bigger one, a more sporadic tree, can one of those more wonkier trees. <clears throat> Good. So, uh, building up a little bit more and we'll uh, move even further more. Right, so we're nearly finished that one now. And it'll just be a case of vining it up <coughs> for the wildlife sort of style because I like to make it all look like wild in between the paths and everything else. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just my wee style I like to do, I guess. But yeah. Go. We'll add some extra detail here and there, probably putting some fencing leaves, some vines on the bark, or the logs. And there we go, it's looking quite nice, and nice and wonky. We'll get a proper look at it later on when uh, I do a walkthrough. <coughs> putting in a path now, okay, like this path's going to lead through to that big open bit at the back there. I'm going to probably put in, obviously I'll fill up the path with all the different stuff that I've been using for the path. <coughs> and I'm going to copy the same as what I've been doing with the fences and the leaves and the blocks, etc. So that you can get round it, you know. There are going to be parts that I won't be doing, uh, but I'll show you them in a wee while. So we'll just finish off with a bit of bone meal. Don't know what you think so far? move on a little bit, put the path up to about here just now, and we'll just decorate. We'll crack on with the next bit. <coughs> <coughs> My throat, honestly, seriously, wow. There we go. Put a bit more leaf and make it look nice and wild, that's what I like. detail on these trees I reckon. Well this one. Make it look uh, stand out a bit more. And then what I'll do is I'll surround it with leaf block and uh, bone meal again and make it look like I like to have this kind of like rural look around all the tree areas so that looks good. I like that. Oh it's dark. Right so um, <clears throat> I forgot to switch on the uh, the light mode on the replay but you can see what I'm doing so it doesn't really matter and as you can see it takes quite a while even eight times the speed so um, I'll do a little bit more here and then we'll skip on into the daytime I think what do you think yeah I reckon so let's do so yeah there we go now already I can see that this is too small uh, but I don't figure that out straight away, uh, so then I start building, uh, as you'll see, and then, um, well actually I don't show you the building, but you'll see a, a blank spot on the um, grass where a log was. So there we go. And I realise I'm not big enough, so time to uh, make it big enough. That fits ideal for it, so let's get started. <coughs> Quick basic frame. Get the uh, planks in. Oh, very simply built, just stage by stage. I don't like to like focus on one bit. I'll just go layer by layer by layer. Uh, using broken stone for this one. In some walls etc <clears throat> and then um, I'll show you the roof I guess we're well, gonna put a nice more extravagant roof on this one uh, it's gonna be quite out there out there uh, I'll put 
put some walls in quickly and we'll move on. There we go. Right, so <clears throat> I'm going to get the roof going. Same kind of style idea again. It's, it's pretty much the style I'm using for the brick project. Um, everything is a similar shape, but de definitely various and difference in styles, trust me. So, um, get the layered basics in, and then from there, <coughs> you know, uh, we'll put some extra detail in. Now, I'm wondering how long have you guys been playing Minecraft from? Because I've been uh, on the Minecraft now since the Alpha 0.30. Um, it was uh, back in. Ooh, Long, long time ago, very much so, just 2010, 2009 or something, even before the release. Um, played a lot of tech it back then, it wasn't just the proper Minecraft. But now I'm more interested in creative building and stuff like that, and showing you what I can build. Alright, so we've got the framework, putting a bit of the woodwork in now. <clears throat> and I've got an idea for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a random pattern here, and uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. <clears throat> What I'm using is the stairs and I'm just putting them in random places and then what I'm going to do is just use logs and use them flat so that you see the rings and make it stand out and then I'm going to put trap doors on that later on. But not right now. Uh, here just now I'm just putting a bit of trim and I'm using cobblestone and just using stairs, slabs and the block basically. Uh, a little bit of a patination in the floor here just for when people are walking in it looks a little bit nicer and the interior of this you will get to see built <coughs> so I'll show you that then in the walkthrough I'll just do some basic stuff in it just now um, but more later in the build project as it goes on I'll put more detail in the houses if you know what I mean I'm just basically doing the outsides so this this is gonna get a little bit wild can kind of like uh, we'll skip it through can kind of like on different levels I'm showing you it's the same kind of oriental feature again but this time <coughs> I'm gonna uh, 3d it up a little it's not just going to be like one layer, if that makes any sense. You'll see what I mean. So we're putting a bit of like 3D um, value into this. Uh, getting the shape there. You can't properly see what I'm talking about right now. Because it's like snake tongues on either side of this. But once I go in up in the elevated view, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but right now I'm just going to finish this. Make it stand out a bit more. And uh, put these in, and uh, later on I will probably put leaves and stuff like that. This is the trapdoors going on. And yeah, standing out quite well. Get a little bit of fencing going, and as I do uh, on all my builds, I just do the cosmetics as I go. You know, in that way I don't need to go back on anything, just little bits and bobs instead, you know. Uh, just the way I work, I guess path in here. Uh, the path I'm going to lead, uh, this one can lead on to over here, uh, but this one I'm just only going to do it to him and I'm going to stop here at the moment because this is for the next video. So up here you can see the uh, shape I'm talking about with the snake tongues and that and you get the idea of the wonkiness of it all and uh, I think it's quite cool. Uh, it makes it stand out better. Uh, again, more of the cosmetics, I use a lot of bone meal. Um, seriously, in survival mode, it's hellish. Uh, the amount of skeletons I've got to go through. Um, and that's with a farm, skelly farm. Uh, here, this bit here in the middle bit at the bottom, I'm not going to do anything here either. Right now, I'm just putting in some lighting, and you'll see in a second how it works because it's going to get night time. And I haven't used the uh, Z function, so you'll get to see it light up as it would be. Now, it's quite dark, so you wouldn't want creepers. Um, walking about this in survival, you know, so you need to light up more, so more lighting, but I'm just using a minimum amount of lighting. Uh, but this middle bit at the bottom there that you see next to the wall, I'm just leaving that just now. <coughs> but as you can see, it's uh, glowing up quite nice on the pathways. I like it, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Right, uh, I'm going to do the pathway quickly, just using the same substance that I used in the 16 by 16 chunk block, in one chunk builds basically, uh, but smaller path so it's thinner and it's not as detailed. Um, 
but they're only walkways. Uh, next, it's um, more paths, bit more gravel, I reckon. I like I like to get a bit more grey in that pathway, so uh, building it up because it's a stone project, you know. But it's like art, this really to me. It's like art. Um, I literally treat it like art. So I'm doing another tree. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't talked all the way through this video. Um, I've been like elsewhere, <laughs> um, so you know, can like uh, just wanted to do these let's build. So this is uh, the, the next commentary on the next video will be much better. Um, it's just I've got a sore throat and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, let's get back to it, and we're going to do some detail in here again. I'm doing a rural feel with all the uh, leaves, blocks, uh, bone meal. So it's like it's not being worked on for a long time or cut or anything like, you know, okay, like it feels like it's wild. And I added detail with um, uh, fences and stuff like that. Now just a little bit extra detail with vines and leaf blocking. And what we'll do is we're going to do a walkthrough, I reckon. So let me just finish this and let's move on. Right. So let's have a walkthrough on what I've done. Um... Where would you like to start? I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll go for a little wander around and we'll just have a look. Right, so, uh, we've got the wall obviously and then everything on in the inside of the wall, the whole green patch. I'm not going to do this a little bit here right now, um, but I want to show you here. Uh, this is how the idea came up, all wonky, but it's still the cross. Uh, window. Uh, this tree, this tree is quite cool. I like this tree. It's nice and wonky, the way I want it, and it looks good over the pathway. Uh, so yeah, I like this whole section here. It looks really nice. I don't know what you think. Uh, here is another one of those trees that I did. This one's quite smaller, but you get the idea of how they're built now. Watching the video, uh, this house is obviously not finished. But I wanted to get sort of the basics done so it kind of fit in and I can come back to it later. You know, but yeah, it kind of fits. Uh, I didn't show you in here, this is all the new basics uh, getting done in here and now. And <clears throat> all it is is uh, the beginning of the shop. Price list and things like that will go up and uh, the idea of it and more interior will be put on. And then up above, it's just basically going to be storage and I'm using trapdoors to look like it's holding them up. So yeah, nice and easy. Uh, looks good, I added lamps there. Um, but yeah, I haven't done the leaves and all the extra detail around this uh, building yet, so we're going to do that in the next video. Uh, the trees look really good, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of my trees today. These trees that I've tried today, the sort of wonky style, I like this. In a bigger form, they look good. This tower, I promise you, I have a tower build of this, but the second video is having problems. So we'll get back to that. But yeah, uh, this tree, I don't think I've got this on record, and this one's massive. I'm gonna, in the next episode, we'll get a proper look at this tree, it's, it's huge. It really is. Um, bigger than most of the one chunk builds. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really nice uh, overall so far. I hope you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you do and uh, keep up with this because I'm going to do time lapses of this building up and building up and building up over time. So uh, yeah, see you later.